Welcome back everyone. This time we are going to talk about the built-in message box class. For this tutorial all we need is a grid with two rows, a button so that we can fire our message box, and then a text block so we can display some results. So let's go ahead and add a click handler to our button. And now in here is where we are going to open up our message box. Like the console class, the message box class is static, so we don't need to create an object, we just need to use its show method. Now if we look at the show method, you see it has 11 overloads, the most basic taking a text. So we can say your message here, and if we run this and fire our message box, you get your message here in a message box. Now you can notice if I try to click in the GUI, the message box blinks and I can't do anything, and that is because a message box is what is called a modal, meaning you have to close this before your main window will continue executing. So when I close this, I go back here, and I can keep firing it all I want. So if we go into our message box arguments and put a comma, we'll see that a caption shows up, a button shows up, icon, default result, options, and then the last one makes the first parameter be the owning window. So the default owning window is the window that you're on. This is just the window that the message box is going to be modal to. So we're not going to worry about that right now because we have one window. The options and the default result we are not going to worry about now. But captions, the buttons, and the icons are kind of the bread and butter of your message box. So let's start with those. Let's say we want a message box that shows when we have an error. So we'll say could not open file, period. Now we want to make a caption, and we can make our caption error. So now when we run, not only will it tell us a message, could not open file, it will have a caption of error. So then from there, we can look at what button options that we have by saying message box button dot. You can have an OK, OK cancel, yes and no, or yes, no, and cancel. For an error, we would probably want the OK button. And from there, we can add an icon by using message box image dot. And there are several options in here. The one that we would want would be error. So now when we run, it's going to have an error icon. So we can style it up just a little bit. So as simple as this is, it covers a wide range of scenarios, really anything that doesn't require more than an acknowledgement, error, info, warning, anything like that. But what if we need to get something back from the user? In that case, we're going to need to look at the show methods return type, which is message box result. So I'm going to comment this out just to leave it here for reference to show that we don't actually need to get a result from it, but we can get a result from it. So we can have a message box result result and set that equal to our message box show method. That way when the message box is closed, it's going to return back the result of the message box. With a message box button of OK, this result is always going to be OK, even if the user closes the window. So if we run debugging, fire the message box, and then we don't push OK, we close it, our result is still going to be OK. So this doesn't help us at all. But if we use a different message box button set, like yes, no, our result is going to be one of those options. So we could say, do you agree? We could change this caption to agreement, and we could make our image a question. And now, if we hit a breakpoint here, when we fire our message box, it's going to ask us a question, do you agree? And if I say yes, my result is going to be yes. Since the message box is modal, we know that nothing is going to continue executing until this returns. So we can take action here. We could say if result equals equals message box result dot yes, we could do something else. We could do something else. So if it's yes, we might set our TB info dot text to agreed. And if it's no, we might set it to not agreed. So now when we run, if we don't agree, it's not agreed. If we do agree, it is agreed. So as you can see, the message box, very simple to use, and they're used a lot. Now this message box might not fit your style. You might need to create a custom one, but implementing this in the interim is very simple and swapping them out is very simple. And we'll talk about how to make custom dialogues very shortly. 
Next up, we're going to talk about how to use the Open File dialog to select files from our file system. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate you. Happy coding, and until next time, as always, take care.